Hello and welcome to Modern Screen Combat. Today we're going to take a look at some of the big mistakes that people make in regards to action filmmaking. Okay, so a lot of these mistakes you will find have a lot more of an impact when it comes to indie filmmaking rather than big budget filmmaking. And that's simply because big budget films have a lot more time and resources in order to counter a lot of these mistakes, either in pre or post production. Okay, so jumping into what probably is the biggest mistake when it comes to making action films. And that's simply to focus on the action over focusing on the narrative itself. And this is something that divides audiences over the action movie genre. If you build a story around action scenes, then your film is probably going to be very dull and very boring. So it's always best to focus on the narrative and see where you can bring action into it to just enhance the whole project. If you have ideas to create action scenes, but you don't necessarily have the narrative to put behind it, then it's much easier to construct a short film or even a showreel scene so you can explore the ideas of action without having to try and draw it out over 90 minutes. Moving on to mistake number two, and this is always cast before you decide on what type of action you are going to do. This is a lot more apparent for indie movies than it is big budget feature films. And that's simply because big budget feature films have the time and resources to upskill their actors and performers to create the type of scenes that they require for the film. If you are doing an indie movie, then you have to work the opposite way around. You must first find out what your actors and performers are capable of, how much time you have to train them, and then decide what's realistic when it comes to shooting. So mistake number three is making your action scenes or your fight scenes too long. And again, this is going to be aimed a lot more at indie filmmaking than it is big budget feature films, simply for the time and resources thing again. Um, when it comes to doing action for indie films, not only does it take you a lot longer to plan these scenes in pre-production, but also when it comes to filming, it's going to take you a lot longer than your standard dialogue scene. The action scene is going to require lots more setups, lots more angles, and sometimes when you only have the location for the day, or you're starting to run out of time, this can possibly be the make or break to whether your film actually gets finished. So the last mistake we're going to discuss today is bringing the right type of action or the right level of intensity to your action scenes for your feature film. This is going to affect indie films and big budget feature films in two completely different ways. Big budget feature films have issues, especially when it comes to making the sequels, simply because they try to outdo what they did in their last film. And usually this tends to escalate to a point where they lose the audience or the scenario has become so ridiculous that the audience lose interest. When you have an indie feature film and you're trying to work in action, you have to think about whether it's going to be the right type of action and also whether the performers can deliver the right intensity in order to keep the audience interested and in order to keep the narrative going. So that's all we have for this episode. So if you've enjoyed watching, please like and subscribe below. And please feel free to comment if you have anything that you'd like me to cover in future videos. But until then, thanks for watching.